as man honored God with that designated portion, the blessing, the fullness of that blessing was operating on and through his life. We looked at and we traced this designated portion and we saw that it was connected to the blessing. When man honored God with it, the blessing continued to operate. When man violated it, the curse went into operation. And we qualified the fact that the curse is not something God does. The curse is the absence of God's presence. The only thing we see Melchizedek do is receive time and release blessing. And if the Bible says Jesus is a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, and the only thing we see Melchizedek do is receive time and release blessing, that means Jesus, our high priest, is constantly and forever receiving time and releasing Hello! Now, do you think God is senile, crazy, schizophrenic? So why would he have a priest whose occupation is to receive tithe in a new covenant if we're not supposed to bring tithe in a new covenant? Because the tither gets supernatural insight, supernatural vision. God will tell the tither what property to buy before the price of it goes up. And then they, nobody's saying anything to me. God will tell the tither to start a business that's going to make millions in the next few years because of something somebody else invented. God will give the tither insight before. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm setting my son up every time I tithe. Tell him I'm setting my baby girl up every time I tithe. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm blessing my grandchildren every time I tithe. Look at your neighbor and say, my great, great grandchildren will be blessed because I... Help! Somebody touch your neighbor and say, mama, stop worrying about your child. He's going to be okay. Stop worrying about your baby girl. God's going to snatch her out of her. Stop fretting about your grandchildren. God is going to get a hold of them. Tell them God will have to take some of what was supposed to come to you and give it to your son. Give it to your daughter. Look at your neighbor and say, this is how you break generational curses. The Lord said to me, he said, part of the problem with sickness and disease in the body of Christ is because my people are not tithers. You want to know how to Ebola-proof your house? You want to understand how to get into a dimension where sickness and disease does not have the legal right to operate? Listen to me. God said, he will not be able to destroy the fruit of your honor, of your ground. There are people who are dealing with sickness and disease, and the answer is not a miracle crusade. The answer is to begin to honor God. Are you listening to me? Did you get what I just said? 